Foscam baby monitor, not just for a baby, but you can monitor other rooms. And this is a excellent product indeed, if you're looking for one of these. What we're gonna do is give you a nice close-up look, show you what comes in the box first. On the box, you have the Foscam application to download to your smartphone and to go to Facebook by scanning the QR. I have the application. I'm already set up. I can open this up and add my camera. In order to do that, you need to have the QR sticker that's located on the bottom of the camera. There is nothing in the manual or on the box for this test unit. We'll get to the app another time. I do apologize for not showing the app. You get a one quarter 20 bolt, anchors and screws, a wall mount, a reset button, two smart chargers, two USB-A, one is a micro and the other is a type C cable. Going over the baby monitor, you have the HD 1080p camera, sensor, microphone, SD card slot, the reset button hole that you carefully feel for the button, the antenna that opens up 90 degrees and rotates about 200 plus degrees. It also has a second whip antenna for protection and the micro USB charging area. On the bottom, these are plastic and not rubber pads. Two keyholes and a one quarter socket. This will slide around. If you want to put sticky pads, you may do so. If this had a template, it'd be a lot easier to put this on a wall. On the back of the unit is the speaker. It is set very low. I'm going to reset my machine so you can hear how low this is. We're going to turn the machine on by a long press. Two, three. I'm going to lift the antenna up. It's going to be a logo of a baby. The green is the on light. Both the camera and the monitor will have film protection. On the display, you have camera one, full battery, the speaker, the date and time, and no Wi-Fi. If I don't see the camera working, I'm basically going to hit the upper right cog. Make sure I'm on camera one and press it. It's going to pair back to the unit. It should take a couple of seconds. For the very first time, this will pair like that immediately at under like 10 seconds. So what I'm going to do is shut the whole unit off to show you that it's going to save. Data saving success. The device is about to shut down. takes about a good 10 seconds and now we're going to turn it on once again and we're going to let go and show you how fast this will set up like you would get it brand new. It shows a no Wi-Fi. It's talking to the unit and there you go. That's how fast it is. If you had four different cameras in a room and you're monitoring four different cameras you come here and go two, three, four, and this would move or change. This is your joystick. Up, it's going to go up. Watch the camera. Down, it's going to go down. Counterclockwise, it's going to turn. And that's where you may want to take the antenna. And do one of those if you need to be seeing things in the room. But you have the whip antenna that may be in the way. We have here is the controls to the brightness and the volume. If you go up from low, I do apologize. When you go up, you go bright. You go down, you dim it, 
and then you lower the sound and you raise the sound. The reason why my sound is down, I don't want it to reverb. And you hear it from the device and on the back of the device is the speaker as well as a kickstand. So I don't have to hold it like I was before. You have the microphone and the mic over here, so don't cover the mic when you are hitting the button. Over here, there is the mic, and you hear reverb to the baby. I'm not sure how to raise the sound of the baby monitor. So let's go into the cog. If you need to feed your baby or be reminded, you have increments of two and a half, three and a half, four and a half, five and a half hours. You have one time or loop how many times it will remind you. I'm not going to sit here and let you know how it's going to sound and so forth. The upper button backs out. The joystick allows to go into the next setting, and then you hit down to go to the next line. This is the sound alarm. You have off, high, medium, and low. Low, the alarm threshold is a shouting baby. Medium is a threshold of a loud voice. High is a threshold of normal speaking. So... If I do one of these, go to high, and this is in the next room. As I change rooms, I'm putting it on high and hitting OK. It's check mark. And I'm going to go next to the camera. And we're going to see how that is. And I have to go back to the camera to get it to go on. I do apologize when I could have went to the back button. So there I am. Let me organize my camera to the desk and see if the camera does come on. That is pretty good. Be right back. So here I am in a nice voice and hopefully this would be working for you. Now you're going to hear two ways. Me with the microphone. I'm going to take my mic and going to put it back in the other room. Hopefully, I'll see if that works that particular way. Let's lower the mic down. Don't want to have any reverb. We have a temp alarm, and if we uh, come over here, we can go into the on, and we could change it to Fahrenheit, and if it gets too hot, 64 to 86 degrees is the normal temperature. If it gets any lower or higher, it'll beep and warn me, and right over here, 77 degrees in the baby's room, the living room. We have music. We have eight different tones. It is in the off stage. It's playing music. We stop it. It takes within a second and a half to acknowledge. We have a display. Display can be screen save, one minute, 10 minute, 30 minute, or not. That's a screen saver known as dormancy. We can record if we have the SD card in there. We don't. It'd be at 1080p. And we could play back the video. And then we have the system. We could set the date and time. And we have a full reset of the system. And we have advanced settings, the monitor, channel one, two, we could turn things on and off. I've gone over just about everything that this unit can do. I wish I could have shown you the app of the unit working, which was missing the QR sticker. 
So if you have a baby, an elderly person, a dog, a cat, a bird, or if you have a room that you want to monitor people in, hey, this may be right for you. This is battery operated, but did you know that you can take a power bank, hook it up, and it's really that... Uh, come on, be a little faster than that. Taking time to reset. Under a minute, this should be hooked up via battery and up and running. Now, I'm not sure I don't have to hit anything, but we'll go here and repair because I interrupted the system. I'm hitting the actual uh, page picture in picture, and there we are. So we're up and running via battery, and I can hook this up in anywhere I want. But remember, this is not IP65. It is weather resistant. It could withstand just a drop of water or so if it's being sprinkled. So I hope you enjoyed this review of a baby monitor that you can put to some good use. And I hope it may be a right decision for your needs. I thank you very much. And I hope you enjoy your unit.